Authorities in the Inland Empire are warning truck drivers about a rise in thefts from semi trucks. They say thieves are targeting costly computer components that help those trucks run. Officials say those components are pretty much the truck's brain and they can be expensive to replace. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Riverside with more. Shelby. Yeah, Sheriff sure, Sam, law enforcement is calling this a relatively new crime trend and it's already costing victims thousands of dollars, not just because of the stolen parts themselves, but because these drivers are losing out on business. They can't drive their trucks without this part and it's taking months to replace them because of supply chain issues. I've heard around them being stolen, you know, but like everything, you think it's not going to happen to you. The sound of a shattered window. It takes this guy less than two minutes to get what he's looking for. After the masked thief brings in a drill, he takes a common powertrain controller, or CPC, from Mike Bledsoe's semi-truck. It's basically the brains of the truck communicating between the engine and other parts. Without it, the truck can't operate. Like these plugs you can't even get right now. He hit four, four trucks in less than 30 minutes. I just don't think they realize the predicament it put me in, you know. It's already with inflation, all our costs are through the roof. And costing Bledsoe about $16,000 in parts and labor, along with other damages to his trucking and equipment rental company in Riverside. The theft happening last Tuesday at around 1 a.m. Bledsoe got a ping on his phone from the alarm, but by the time he and the Riverside County Sheriff's Department arrived, the thieves were gone. Since November, we've had about 40 reports taken for the CPC thefts here just in our county. Turns out the relatively new crime trend is hitting truck Truckers up and down the state. Because there is a global shortage, uh, shortage of that microchip, it makes it very lucrative and very popular and very attractive on the black market. Gloria Huerta with the San Bernardino County Sheriff says the parts typically go for fourteen to sixteen hundred dollars, but now thieves are selling them for double that or more, and people are buying them. Because there's a global shortage, there's a huge backlog, and people are probably desperate to get to work, so they're willing to pay that money. To, uh, to get that chip in their uh, semis. This is damage left over from one business in Ontario. Some of them are actually able to be detached and removed from the car, um, from the truck, if you will. So if they can do that, we advise them to take it out with them, park in a well-lit area. If you are the business owner, install video surveillance. As for Bledsoe. For now, I'm parking my trucks uh, somewhere else. Now, several of these law enforcement agencies are investigating, but the difficult part about this is, yes, these parts do have serial numbers, but the only way to trace them back is through the manufacturer. Once those thieves get their hands on these parts, they usually find someone else to reprogram them so as to skip that step altogether. They don't have to send it back to the manufacturer to get it reprogrammed. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.